Hello everyone, and welcome back to Zeus! Took a bit of a break there. Uh, oh shit, we got... We got... We got more soldiers invading us, so we gotta deal with that. But, as you can probably see, we got the wall sorted out. We've got... A wall... Around our base, or around our city, rather. We've got an army invading us. And we have... A few problems, but, uh... Yeah. I apologize in advance, as this is probably going to be a bit of a different episode, if only because, uh, if only because we're starting basically near the end of a mission, and we might have to carry on into the next one. But we got uh, these walls manned by uh, troops, and they're already destroying it, great. <laughs> Uh, might actually want to grab more soldiers, maybe. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Oh god, oh god, this was this is a big one. Okay, we're gonna grab more some more soldiers, huh? And yeah, we'll, looks like we got a breach already. We got a breach already. I do have some more stuff to show you guys, but that will have to wait for now. Ah, I knew, I know, I can bring soldiers here faster, somehow, but I can't remember how. <laughs> oh, well, Master, hold him back. A lame immortal still has more power than you can imagine. Aha! We're able to hold him back just long enough, apparently. So the wall did well, I feel. Uh, back to Hephaestus. There we go. Aphrodite's gonna hold him off. Yep. Yeah, he just goes away at the sight of her, apparently. So yes, the wall is complete here. I did include a noble district here and a commoner district here just because uh, for the nobles I wanted more footmen armies rather than horsemen. I also removed horses from these houses here. Oh, and also a lot of wine there. Just because I want to have more footmen than horsemen I don't know, it seems a little bit silly for me to uh, have more horses than I have people. I don't know. The wall does go around a majority of this main area. Oh, I just realized I forgot to do this section here, actually. Uh, sure. Yeah, it goes around a majority of this main area here. It doesn't go around near the water, just because we do have all these uh, houses here that are in the way. In the event that they ever get destroyed, that will change, but for now, this is good enough. There is kind of this, like, uh, almost... Almost, uh, military road surrounding the city next to the walls. As a result, I'll send everyone home here. Go home. Go home. And, um, yeah, we were able to fend off that invasion this time. Not sure about next time, so we are probably going to take on the uh, enemy city. Now, this is the one problem that I have with this episode is that uh, oh god damn it, they're all just pouring in now. <laughs> uh, I actually had to d delete all of the dairy farms just to uh, be able to build a section of the wall there, just because uh, there was so much. Uh, there was a sheep that refused, absolutely refused to move. So yeah. Now, it's just, I do fear that this episode might be a little bit on the odd side, if only because the, um, oh. if, if only because we really only have one objective right now, and that is sim quite simply just, um, just take over this one city. And then this is done. So I'm probably going to continue this into the next mission. Uh, I apologize, Peppy, for putting you through that. Uh, actually, no, no. Actually, no. You know what? That's probably a good thing, actually. We can put another tower here as a result. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. We'll just say that. Eh, whatever. Um, there we go. And this one will accept olives. So, yeah. We're pretty good setup. Uh, I did have to make that uh, other 
this other thing here, this other district here, just because we do need more workers. We are getting more people in because of that, so I'm hoping that this will go down and will be at a decent number of population. And, um, yeah, I also deleted the horse carriages from here and here, the horse corrals or whatever, just because, again, I want these guys to not be horses. I, I don't know if that's a good idea or if that's a bad idea, but eh, it's what I got. Regardless, I don't think there's much we need to do other than aforementioned uh, taking on this city, this last city, Oros or something I think it was called, uh, no, where, where is it? Um, what's this place called again? Orcomonios. Orcomenos. Orcomenos. Where where is Orcomenos? Orcomenos. Orcomenos. Here it is. Okay, here we go. And um Yeah, we got a we got a bit. We got a bit. So just send in a whole bunch of horsemen, because why not? We got way more than we need. And we'll send in Ares Guard and uh Achilles, I suppose. Probably not a b good idea. I don't know if Dionysus is going to send another manid, but uh, yeah. Let's see all our horsemen leave. They have unfortunately all bundle up like that, so that's not a great view. Meh, whatever. Oh shit, they just, they just two. This was a granary. Ooh, that might cause problems if that's permanently gone. Hmm. Yeah. Here. Build another grain right here just for safety. Uh, so, yes. Tributes, yep. We have more wine than we know what to do with. That's fine. So, here is our wall. Still not sure what to put up here. It goes all the way down. You can see guards can uh, patrol the thick sections of wall here. Of course, we can't go over this lava, so if anyone comes from here, the best we can really do is uh, put put soldiers on that lava field there and hope for the best, because there's no real way to uh, to def to defend to defend this lava thing with walls. Goes all the way down, all the way across, past the new districts that we built. Oh, what happened here? Oh. Only well, it's food, okay. Well, uh, I guess there's a food shortage, huh? Oh yeah, there's no food here, huh? They're off buying it. Yeah. And over by the pier. You have there thoroughly we go. crushed Polynesia's attempt to usurp your power, and the leaders that supported him are now firmly under your rule. Not even Hephaestus will threaten Thebes now. Well, that mission was done in nine minutes. So, we're probably going to proceed straight into the next into the next mission here. Apologies again, this is going to be a weird episode just because of that. Let's, we, let's see what we got to do next. Any one of your many achievements would have been enough to rank you among Greece's best leaders. Not only did you defeat Ares Serpent and rescue Europa from Crete, you rid Greece of the horrible Maenid threat and rebuffed Polynices' attempt to depose you. Never has a single ruler done as much for Greece as you have. Oh, that's all there was. Kind of feels like a short adventure now, with not much challenge. I don't know if it's just set on an easy difficulty, or if I just was too advanced, or what. Maybe I still have some skill from when I played this years ago. Regardless, this is uh, still a pretty short episode. I kind of don't want to start the next adventure without... Um, I don't want to start the next adventure in the middle of an episode, so maybe this will just be a short episode. Um, here, you know what I will do? I will... Uh, first off, I'm going to go to continue building the city. I'll give a quick overview of the city so we can get one last look.
then I'll start the next adventure, and we can, uh, you know, we'll start the next adventure, we'll show off the first mission statement, like what it is we're doing, what the story is, all that, and uh, then Peppy can edit that in uh, next episode when we actually begin it. So, yeah, let's just go back to the city, and let's see what we got here. We are short on workers, but I believe we still got people moving in, so... No, that's not too much of a problem. You've already won this adventure. Chosen to continue... It's hard to see, but it's written up there. Anyways. We got our noble district here. The first one we ever built. Very proud of it. It was larger before, but an unfortunate surge of lava poured in from the west. And crushed the Agora, separating the district into two separate halves. Uh, fuck, screw all that. We have, uh, our massive overproduction of olive oil. Like, we do not need this stuff. Why do we have grapes? Why do we have grapes? The only room for these goods in the city is right here in my cart. Where the hell did we get grapes? We're not supposed to have grapes. Huh. Where did those grapes come from? I don't know. Anyways. We got our large wheat fields that provided food for a majority of the city. Up here was our very first district place. The very first place where uh, people moved in. So this is the oldest part of the city right here. Our palace was originally located around here. It's since been replaced with... Uh, Temple to Demeter, the goddess of the harvest, the and the sister of uh, Zeus, Poseidon, Hades, uh, Hades rather, Hera, and there's a third. There's a third sister. I can never remember who she was though. She's in here somewhere. Uh, we got our hero area, where the uh, no, thank you, where we have. Our Heroes Halls place, we got Hercules, we've had Jason, we have Achilles now, we once had Achilles and Jason at the same time, Jason's a dick, screw him, we c and during our first ever mission, we had to defeat a Hydra, we, we had to deal with a Hydra that was haunting this little area here, so we summoned Hercules, and the next mission after that, we uh, had to build this temple to Ares, the, gro the god of war. And as a result, he took a favor to the city, and he forgave us for killing his pet Hydra. From there, we set up this uh, whole palace arena area, where all of our scholars and our uh, athletes and even our... Uh, where is it? Oh, no, 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 our, uh, our scholars and athletes, our actors go somewhere else. Our scholars and ath athletes come here to train, and preach, and practice for the Olympic Games. And, uh, of course the giant wall I set up last episode, uh, between last episode and this episode, it turned out to be quite useless, but at the same time, it does look pretty nice. There's no wall over on this other area, which we set up soon afterwards, after building uh, this whole area up, I believe. We had to build three trees in order to get Jason, which were, uh, were finished, but it was Horseman that he wanted more, I believe. But, eh, they haven't really done much of anything. Like, we've never needed these trees ever. So they're just kind of useless. We have... A lot of housing here, a temple to Athena, goddess of olive oil, which was turned out to be ironic, as uh, we kind of overproduce olive oil, so we really don't need that at all. But, you know, olive oil. <laughs> Looks like she's getting a sacrifice now. This place is always short on food. All of its resources originally came from over this side of the city, but uh, since then it started producing its own. You see it's making sheep and cheese here. This is also where a good chunk of our trade comes in. I see uh, we're exporting our wool here and our olive oil, getting some wine. We've got our second noble district here, the second one I ever made. It's uh, 
it started out much smaller than the first one, but uh, due to the whole lava surge thing, it's now much larger. Fucking leave me alone. Fine, fine, fine. God dang. It's now much larger, and this is mainly where a majority of our horses come from. And was we short on horses now? Oh, we're short on horses. What do you know? Uh, nowhere to get wheat, I guess. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's just delivered. Anyways. This is where our horsemen mainly come from. Uh, looks like we only have this one horse area providing horses, so eh, a lot of them have downgraded, but uh, looks like they're improving. Behind them, I put some wheat farms to just provide some extra food to this whole area. And uh, let's see, we got our marble. We got this giant area on this mountain here that I only saw last episode and uh, didn't know what to do with. And uh, this has been Crete. Not really sure what else to say about it. There's not really much to do. I mean, there's no one to conquer. I mean, I guess we could conquer our allies, but... Uh, I mean, we could. We, we, we could. We definitely could. No, why are you downgrading? Uh, well, they need fleece. Well, it's not really our problem anymore. We're not playing this game anymore. This, uh, this, this city anymore. Regardless, I believe I'm going to, uh, leave Crete to a new ruler and move on to a new city. So, give me a quick second. Uh, let's just call this one Crete. That's the, uh, name of this place, right? Oh, whoops. Thebes. Thebes, Thebes, Thebes. I'm an idiot. This is Thebes, not Crete. The 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 Crete is something completely different. Uh, I'll, I'll probably delete that save. Anyways. So, thank you for watching. Be sure to tune in next time when we take on the next mission. And, uh... Peppy, if you will please cut here and uh, fade in to the introduction to the next mission, and we will call that a night for now. The people of Greece are scattered around the country. You will gather them together like a shepherd gather his, gathers his flock, and lead them to a brighter day. This adventure is not too challenging and consists of six episodes. No, oh, the last one was actually pretty easy. Okay. In a time of darkness, discord reigned in Greece, and the people lived apart from each other. Now, a new day is dawning, and the time has come for a leader to rise up and, for the first time, draw the people together, uniting them in a mighty city. Zeus himself has selected you to achieve this remarkable feat, and has pointed you to a site in the Argolid. The city's name will be Argos. People will flock to the city in the hopes of learning a trade and feeding their families, and they will expect you to provide for them. Other would-be leaders in Greece are also trying to start new cities. Some of them will achieve a modicum of success, while others will fail completely. You might encounter them in your journeys.